my name is Adam Vol. I'm here with uh, Sorgal Orchards. It's a family-run business. I'm now the sixth generation. Um, we farm uh, uh, apples and uh, other fruits along with pretty much any vegetable we can grow in western Pennsylvania. Um, we have uh, our own farm stand um, right off Interstate 79 in Wexford, PA, right north of Pittsburgh. We have about uh, 450 acres we're farming. Um, right now with full-time, part-time uh, employees were around 200 or a little over 200 employees currently. We have uh, multiple different locations with uh, depending on where our families are settled for the different farms that grow different crops in each one but we all kind of work together and um, pretty much all of our produce is sold retail through our own our own farm stand here in Wexford. It originated with taking apples and some produce into Pittsburgh into Pittsburgh markets um, and then we had a couple bad years and they decided that um, it wasn't worth the money there, so they started a little roadside stand up the road here um, and sold from the roadside stand, and it just kept progressing, and every few years we'd switch it out for a bigger one, and my mother and her three brothers are the the owners, and then uh, my generation is, is underneath them. They're all equal partners in the business, um, and we're sort of looking into the process here now of trying to transition into the next generation. Um, it's going to be a long process and probably a difficult process, but uh, in order for the company to survive, it's help them move on to enjoy a little more relaxed life. Communication is, is, is key. Um, just got to talk things out and plan early. Try to talk early and, and it's hard to see the future, but you got to try to figure out what you, what you want and what you want the company to look like in the future. Yeah, dealing with Mother Nature, you know it's a hard battle against her and she's usually going to win most years um, and that's with with the crop insurance it's kind of a nice peace of mind that that if if something does go wrong you have a little bit of a, a safety net a little bit of a backup the way things happen and, and trends have shown that every every few years uh, either hailstorm or freeze or there's going to be something especially in western Pennsylvania it's it's unpredictable it's it's not a not a problem to have all four seasons in one day yes yeah, so we try to ensure our apples uh, is one of the main things just because of the different variables like the hail and the frosts and the freezes um, and even some of the animals and there's just a lot of different variables there. We don't have the volume I guess as, as much as a lot of uh, wholesalers would typically. They're typically a larger farm. We have what we need and we know what we need for our market and if that doesn't turn out we don't really have too much of a backup Bringing school groups in has helped us with, with the extra income and on rainy days, but uh, one of our big benefits that we've seen is the education of the younger the younger group. Um, a lot of parents and stuff don't actually understand where their, their food has come from because they're starting to be removed from the farm for multiple generations. And it's kind of nice to be able to get the children back involved in the farm and start learning about the local and the, um, the nutrition of it and they then will go to their parents and hopefully get some new customers out of it too. So it kind of works works well for us. And then we have all sorts of kids activities and cornstalk mazes and balloon bounces and just pretty much any activity you can you can offer on the farm. But the pumpkins are, because of the agritainment and stuff, it's really become a, a big seller for us. The goal, I guess, is to make everybody happy when they leave. And if we can keep the, the clientele that we have and they can spread the word, it, it really benefits us greatly. I love it the, I love at the end of the day that there's something in your hand that you, you did, you, you accomplished. It's, it's uh, very gratifying to me to have a seed and put it in the ground and a few months later I have, have something edible and, and, and nourishing to my family and a lot of other families.